In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. So, Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis, God said, Let the water teem with an abundance of living creatures, and on the earth let birds fly beneath the dome of the sky. And so it happened. God created the great sea monsters and all kinds of swimming creatures with which the water teems, and all kinds of winged birds. God saw how good it was, and God blessed them, saying, Be fertile, multiply and fill the water of the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. Evening came, and morning followed, the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures, cattle, creeping things, and wild animals of all kinds. And so it happened. God made all kinds of wild animals, all kinds of cattle, and all kinds of creeping things of the earth. God saw how good it was. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the divine image he created him. Male and female he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant over all the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food. And to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground. I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day God was finished with the work he had been doing, he rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he had rested from all the work he had done in creation. Such is the story of the heavens and the earth at their creation. The word of the Lord. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. How wonderful your name. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O oh Lord. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. 
You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. Alleluia, alleluia. Incline my heart to God, to your decrees, and favor me with your law. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. When the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, Why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well, did I say a prophecy about you, hypocrites, as it is written? These people honors me with their lips but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching us doctrines, human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, How well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother. And whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet you say, if someone says to father or mother, any support you might have had from me is Corban, meaning dedicated to God. You allow him to do nothing more for his father or mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that you have handed on. And you do many such things. My dear friends in Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, my dear friends. We respect our traditions and customs. That's why we still do it today. For example, the saying of prayers before and after meals. And we even wash our hands before and after we eat, right? In our gospel today, the Pharisees also have traditions that they are really strictly observing it. One of those is to eat with clean hands. So they really must wash their hands first before eating. But the disciples of Jesus ate with unclean hands. And this does not slide in the eyes of the Pharisees. They went on to Jesus just to criticize him again with what his disciples are doing. The Pharisees told Jesus, Why are your disciples not following our traditions? Why are they eating with unclean hands? And Jesus answered them back, this people honors me with their lips. You abandon God's commandment and hold to human traditions. The commandments of God rather than focusing on human traditions because those costumes 
are superficial if we do not follow the commandments of God by heart. Jesus is telling us that He is not interested on our external appearances even though we follow the customs of going to church. He wants our internal conversion. Yes, we are attending the Mass, but when we go home, we became sinners again. Very clear, that is superficial. My dear friends, Jesus wants us not to become a sinner. He wants us to convert and live our life to goodness. Now, this morning, let us review our habits, analyze our thoughts, think about our patterns of activity, if it is for the will of God, and ask for His guidance to live your life according to to his command. Amen. Together as one voice, let us lift our prayers to our loving and merciful God. For members of the church throughout the world, may the love of Christ unite our hearts to God in our lives of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. For elected officials, may God strengthen them in justice and integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. For the homebound and the lonely, may the love of Jesus console and comfort, comfort them. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may God's declaration of the goodness of creation guide our relationship with the, heart, with the earth and its resources. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may the Lord welcome them into his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. We also include in this Holy Mass for the souls of Lorenzo Gaspalino, Carla Beckman, Rick Malacas, and so we pray our frontliners, those who died just because of this pandemic, those who got this virus. We pray also our brothers and sisters who are sick. Let us pray for this speedy recovery. Those who have cancer and those who are dying this very moment. Our brothers and sisters are already bankrupt in their business or businesses. Those who are suffering in this very moment. Those who are dying and those who have nothing to eat. We pray also those who are celebrating their wedding anniversaries today and their birthdays today, most especially Tomas Ortiz. Let us pray to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. Loving God, we thank you for hearing our prayers this day and ask for your gracious mercy in granting them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed day, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. From the earth of work of human hands will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed day, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. From the divine work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, wash my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, to Almighty Father. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is only right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as in George's passion so as to break the bands of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the jupal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when Sapo was sended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy and their parishioners, our deacons, our nuns, sister servants of the Blessed Sacrament, our seminarians, and those who are helping our parish, Corpus Christi, our staff, our volunteers in our parish. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
as one family with our humble hearts all together, let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we will be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. My dear friends in Christ, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to His Supper. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on this say the word, my soul shall be whole. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Those who are not able to join us to our daily uh, Masses, and they're not able to receive our Lord Jesus Christ for Holy Communion, you just pray reverently the spiritual communion prayer that you can see on the screen of your TV and to your cell phone.
O God, we have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and one chalice. Grant us, we pray, to so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Holy Mass ascended. Go and let us pray for one another. Most Holy Immaculate Virgin and our Mother 